Hello, welcome to the Algebra course. My name is Mike and I will be teaching you this course. So what is algebra? Well, loosely translated from uh, its Arabic roots, algebra means balancing and restoring. But that's a little bit boring and, and to us, what does that mean so far? Well, it means nothing really. I prefer to think of algebra, like all math, as the mystery of the unknown. And what do I mean by that? Well, before you get to algebra, you do things like adding numbers, subtracting numbers, multiplying, dividing numbers, and there's really no mystery there. You're just kind of doing arithmetic. You're combining numbers together. In algebra, we have new things called variables or unknowns that we represent with letters. So for example, we have something like x plus 1 equals 5. We can think of x as just standing in the place for a number. What number needs to go there? So there's some mystery here. We're on the hunt for the number that goes in place of x. Well, this example is not too hard. If instead of x, if we had in place of x there in that equation, if we had 4, then 4 plus 1 equals 5. That's certainly true. So instead of that x, we need to put a 4. So what we say is that x must be equal to 4. And there we go. We've solved our first algebraic equation. We started with an unknown called a variable x, and we found out it had to be 4. So the key idea here is that x is what's called a variable or an unknown. They're synonymous. And what do we no need to know about variables? Well, variables just stand in the place of a number. In our example, the letter x, the variable, stood in place of 4. Also, variables are usually written as letters of the alphabet. In this particular example, we chose the letter x. But it doesn't have to be x. And in fact, let's see another example of an equation with a variable. So how about uh, a plus 10 equals 12? So what has to go in for a? What does a stand in the place of? Well, it's not too hard to see that if we put a 2 where a is, then we get a true equation. So a is equal to 2. a is standing in the place of the number 2. And if you really want to see that, we can write this out. 2 plus 10 certainly equals 12. So we can see that a really was just uh, standing in the place of 2. And that's that's the, the beginning of algebra. Instead of working with just numbers, we start working with variables, and that's a very powerful tool. Okay, we'll see how powerful it is, and we'll see lots more examples and, and, and really dive into this when we get into the course. See you then.